Hi, Nicolo. Hi. Uh, so we are at the European Solidarity Center in Gdansk, in Poland. And this is the second year in a row that we find ourselves uh, in Poland uh, at a quite similar time of the year. Do you think this is a pure coincidence or a choice? Uh, I think it's a symbolic choice, Ophelia. And we're in Gdansk, as you say, which is a place which is famous for making ships. And you know, what I feel like we're doing here is we're putting people in different kinds of ships uh, based on their different interests, whether they're interested in campaigning around feminist issues, about democracy, about cannabis legalization, uh, abortion, euthanasia. We're building a kind of flotilla to try and discover a more desirable future for all of us across Europe and across the planet. And that's not the first time that such things start in Gdansk. The solidarity movement here in Gdansk was also somehow the beginning of a wave which ultimately brought down the Iron Curtain. And so um, it's not just a kind of historical coincidence that we end up here today to try to, in all modesty, kick off something of a similar magnitude and importance. One of the main topics that we're talking about though today is about uh, feminist solidarity across borders. Why do you think that's an important topic, Ophidi? I think it's very important that we talk about feminism while in Poland, um, because obviously being a woman knows no borders and being a woman and all the struggles that come with it is something that we can relate to, regardless of where we come from, regardless of what nation we were born into. And the struggles that Polish feminists and Polish women face nowadays are relatable in many other parts of Europe. Um, and I think this is when true sorority and true feminist solidarity is needed so that we can support each other, we can inspire each other. We obviously come from different legal realities, different institutional realities and different sociological realities. However, at the bottom of things, we all want to ensure that we have the same basic human rights as women. And it's by having this convergence of fights that we can hopefully achieve this bare minimum that uh, we deserve. Um, I think it's also very important to always keep in mind that fighting for women's rights means fighting for many other rights at the same time. It's about fighting against racism, it's about fighting for queer rights, it's about fighting for workers' rights, anti-capitalism, and all of those different fights when added together are what can bring us towards a more uh, feminist solidarity and more feminist uh, society, hopefully. Good, we're in the right place.